Seen here in New York State, two of the candidates for governor of New York have agreed to a live televised debate, and you'll only be able to watch it locally tomorrow right here on News 8. This comes after days of sparring between incumbent Andrew Cuomo and Republican challenger Mark Molinaro. Morgan Mackay tells us about that and has reaction from the third party candidates. After a ton of back and forth between Governor Andrew Cuomo and Mark Molinaro, a debate was finally scheduled today for well, tomorrow. Governor Cuomo has turned down multiple requests for a debate the past few weeks, but finally suggested on Sunday night that he would debate Molinaro on Tuesday. This morning, Molinaro accepted his offer. My job tomorrow is to simply do what underdogs do. Speak on behalf of those people that don't often get to sit in that room. Cuomo campaign spokeswoman Danny Lever said, after days of ducking the debate, we're glad Mark Molinaro has finally agreed. This last minute debate, however, leaves out the three third party candidates. Independent Stephanie Miner, Howie Hawkins from the Green Party, and Libertarian Larry Sharp. Molinaro and Cuomo don't want competition from somebody outside the two party system. What do you got to do to get uh, into the narrative of the media. Hawkins has been asking for a debate since the day he announced he was running and is not alone calling for more attention to be paid to upstate voters. Miner sent this statement in response. A single debate without all candidates hurts democracy and a single debate in New York City ignores the interests of upstate voters. And Sharp also responded to news of the debate saying these dinosaurs have failed to realize that the comet is already on its way and when they see the results on November 6, they will be left with nothing but embarrassment and tarnished reputations. Molinero is also asking for two additional televised debates, one in Buffalo and one in the Southern Tier. Reporting from the Capitol, I'm Morgan Mackay. Again, you'll only be able to see the debate locally right here on News 8. That starts tomorrow at 7 p.m.